Rare Butterflies Flying High at Los Angeles Airport Los Angeles, California The wine of jet engines fills the air Hangars and runways stretch to the horizon But somewhere here, amid the wilderness of concrete that is Los Angeles International Airport lives a tiny butterfly that's found almost nowhere else on earth. On a recent winter's day, the only winged creatures visible in the airport, known locally as Lex, are giant airplanes. Buried beneath buckwheat shrubs near the end of the runways, though are countless of the endangered El Segundo blue butterfly, which will slumber through the jet's roar until the summer. As long as it has its buckwheat, it can eat, grow, survive, and it's happy, says Lex environmental supervisor Erica Blither as she surveys the airport's butterfly habitat. That a rare butterfly lives at the nation's third busiest airport is surprising. Confounding experts even more, the blue is making a comeback. New colonies have popped up far from the airport, defying expert opinion that the butterfly is a lousy traveler. The insect has overcome noise, foul odors, traffic, everything a butterfly would seem to hate, to retake some of the ground it lost to development decades ago. Last summer, an estimated 25,000 adults fluttered around the airport despite the state's historic drought, says Richard Arnold. A consulted entomologist who has monitored the butterflies at Lex and a nearby refinery. Over the last decade, he says, the airport's colony has numbered as high as 143,000. The butterfly, roughly as big as US quarter and with a similar metallic shine, is definitely a survivor in the urban matrix, says Eric Porter of the US Fish and Wildlife Service, who oversees their recovery. And that, he adds, is not the norm. Though scientists agree the El Segundo Blue is a success story, they don't agree on why. Maybe the blue is thriving because it needs just one kind of plant, unlike other butterflies that need many. Or maybe the mild climate of its native landscape is a factor. But one thing is for sure, it doesn't mind the chaos of human coexistence. Before the construction crews moved in, the blue occupied sand dunes that stretched for a dozen miles along the Pacific Ocean. It was a paradise of sunshine and seaside views, irresistible to humans and butterflies alike. By the time scientists recognized the blue as its own subspecies in the 1970s, its dune had all but vanished and so had the butterfly. It was put on the U.S. Endangered Species list in 1976. Though the butterfly may not mind jet engines and crowds, it is finicky about one thing, buckwheat. California has many kinds of wild buckwheat, but the blue life cycle relies exclusively on one species known as coast buckwheat or sea cliff buckwheat.